Yo, what's up YouTube? This your boy Chaney Live coming at y'all with another vlog again. Today I want to talk about, man, this particular vlog anyway, I want to talk about how people are so fixated and fascinated, man, with sports. Okay? Great, great sports. Baseball, football, basketball, soccer is trying to come and take over some shit. Now, I'm into sports too, okay? I like boxing. Until the fight I saw recently, I thought boxing was real. You know how wrestling not real? And I don't mean this to take away from any people that love wrestling, but you know how wrestling not real? No matter what sport it has been, okay, um, I always had faith in boxing. I always said to myself, boxing is real. You cannot pay somebody to go in there and get brain damage in order to structure a scorecard a certain way and shit like that. I don't do that. I don't believe in that. But the recent fight I saw with uh, Jose, 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 Jose Garcia, I think, no, is his name Garcia? Give me one second. I don't want to mess this up. Luis somebody. All right, let me look it up. All right, I'm, I'm not even going to play around with it. Because if I mess this up, somebody going to say, I'm being racist, all right? So I gotta get this man name right. Came out of nowhere, from the bottom. I give him credit. Strategically, I mean, statistically, he won the fight. Now, do I believe that the fight was rigged? I don't believe it was rigged, but I believe that my man, Anthony Joshua, wanted to make a political statement by allowing this man to win based on the struggles and the trials and tribulation that my fellow uh, close to America, Mexicano brothers and sisters have been going through. You know, they got a lot of challenges going up against them with um, immigration, Trump being in office, this wall. They got a lot going against them. Sometimes I think that with the heart of Anthony Joshua, the spirit of this man, I believe that he was willing to take a maximum loss just to bring light to Mexico and the greatness of these brown people that are struggling to have the same lifestyle and the same rights and humanity privileges that we have here in this country okay so let me tell y'all the name of this man all right just a moment I'll only take a second Anthony Ruiz hold on now they just calling him Ruiz they that's racist Andy Ruiz Junior knocked Anthony Joshua out. How did he do it? Was it legitimate? I don't want to take anything away from this man. If he, if Anthony Joshua gave it a 100%, which I did not see, okay, if he gave it 100% and this man won, hallelujah, praise God, it was his time to shine and he did what he needed to do. But somewhere in my heart and somewhere along the fight and the way things were moving along and the way that Anthony Joshua was behaving, his behavior said more than what actually had it happen in the actual ring. His behavior towards the fight told me something different. He gave me the impression that he let the fight go. He let the title go. It was a gift to this man. You know? Because of all 
that these people are going through in the world at this time as we speak. You know, that's my belief. I mean, when you actually tell a man like, come on, mother, he was in the ring. He was actually like, knock me out, mother. If come on, mother, I'm wait, I'm ready to go home. Then if you want to knock me out, knock me out right now. Like this is how he was behaving. Like he wanted to go down. Like he was doing like this. You ain't supposed to do like the only time you can do like this at a fighter is when you winning. You know what I mean? When you win in a fight, you can be like, come on, motherfucker, come on, bring that shit. Let's do this shit. Show me what you got. But when you getting your ass whipped and you talking about, come on, come on, I got to question that. I got to think to myself, <sighs> Anthony Joshua wanted to give this man the title. He wanted to shine some light on Mexico, man. He wanted to shine some light on the struggles of these people. And he wanted the world to see it. He wanted the world to experience it. There has never been a Mexican heavyweight champion of the world in history until now. He wanted to change history. That is my belief. If you believe different and if you think Luis Ruiz Jr. won strategically, talent-wise, strength, ability, then please leave it in the comments. If you think that what I'm saying is questionable, please leave it in the comment. I would definitely would like to hear your opinion. But to me personally, I feel that Anthony Joshua made a power move Okay, he has money. He has the success. He has money. He has, he's lived the life of a champion. He is a brand. He can, he can give the title away temporarily. Now, if they have a rematch, rematch I know Anthony Joshua will not be like, all right, motherfucker, give me my shit back. Okay. I did this as a gift for you. I don't know if Mexico Mexico put them together a billion dollars and was like Anthony Joshua, if you let Luis win, we will give you a billion freaking dollars. And he said, "Give me a billion dollars and I will let this man win the fight." That could have happened. I'm not I don't believe it was that. Anthony Joshua man, he is the most humble patient, positive champion that I've known. He don't bite nobody ears off. He ain't bite nobody nose off. He ain't hit nobody in the ear. He ain't chopped nobody in the back of the neck. None of that. So with all that being said, man, this is my opinion of what I have seen. I'm looking forward to a lot of great fights that are coming. My number one fight I am looking forward to is Javante Davis fighting out of uh, uh, freaking um, Royal Farms Arena in Baltimore. I forgot who he's fighting. It's, I don't know why he's fighting this guy. He's incredible. But he's going to fight some man, okay? But he's repping Baltimore as I am too and I'm um, looking forward to the great fight man it's scheduled uh, around I believe 27th of this month and I will be watching it and I will give you guys an update to tell you what I think but with all that being said this is your boy Chaney live it's been a pleasure another video for you continue to subscribe join the channel I love y'all. Thank y'all for being a part of the Cheney family. And we uh, look forward to greatness. And we want you guys to be a part of it. Again, I will see you on the next vlog.